This is the case of a young patient who is treated for acne scars with a fractured CO2 laser. This is the third session. These sessions are performed every four weeks. Roughly one hour before, the patient applies an anesthetizing cream anisderm in order to limit the heat and burning sensations. We will sweep over all the affected areas, mainly the cheeks and the forehead. We will therefore cover the entire surface with 20 mm on 20 mm impacts. The aim is to cover the whole area without superimposing the impacts. The density and the power depends on the depth that we wish to reach and also depends on the density of the lesions. There is a cooling system of pulsed air that enables the patient to be less affected by the sensation of heat. It is very important to use this system. A session is quite bearable. However, in the minutes following the session and for a period of one to two hours, the patient will experience an intense sensation of heat and burning. Immediately afterwards, a soothing emollient cream is applied and then the patient will be able to apply this cream when necessary. Depending on the heat sensation, for example, sickle fate cream. Over a period of three to four days, each small impact that we will see will transform into a mini scab, which gives the skin a puffy appearance with small light brown spots, followed by an erythema for one to two weeks, depending on the patient. Therefore, during their entire treatment period and in the month following the last session, sun exposure is not recommended. Results are often visible and appreciated three months following the last session. Bearing in mind that we wish to induce collagen production, the results are often more marked in the long term.